Oh, this is Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just looking at this dissolution of marriage. Oh. Um, the reissuance of the temporary protection order by minute order. Yes. Yeah. Um, the order for protection that was issued when I was in the residence. Yes. When I was served on Guam. Yes. When there was a pre-existing no contact order. Yes. And then uh, the issuing of a dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. Where um, you arrested me and you served me at the same moment. Mm. Uh, and then the reissuance of this protection order. Yes. But no actual attempt of service between May 31st and June 15th. Yes. And then uh, you decide to reissue it by minute order. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Motion here in Brent Basin. Um, and then um, Sheriff's Return of Service. Right. And... Um, um, Commissioner Kanibs issued a permanent protection order, yes, on July 6th of 2012, yeah. while I was on trial for violating a fraudulent protection order, yes. That was issued when the jurisdiction was Guam, where there was a no contact order. Well, you did transfer jurisdiction, did you? So, Well, when you um, had an emergency motion hearing, right, on the 31st, right, you issued the temporary protection order, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. petition for renewal, yeah, on May 31st of 2012, um, you didn't give me notice of court hearing, yeah, but uh, you issued the temporary protection order by minute order, yes. But you gave me 12 hours notice um, by a minute order that you were going to reissue it, you know, without waiting for the verdict from the jury trial where it was alleged that I had violated it because I called Healthy Families of Clallam County, yes, on approximately the 4th of May of 2012, yes. But you gave my wife um, about 20 days to file for dissolution of marriage, yes. And then you arrested me. Now... Um, I'm a little concerned because I didn't know about due process uh, in 2012. Yeah. And just looking at um, all the other times that you didn't give me any notice. Right. <laughs> and then um, you you reissued it um, mm -hmm. yeah, June 1st of 2015. Yeah. Did Heidi motion the court to reissue the temporary protection order? Uh, because she didn't acknowledge it when you issued it. So, and then uh, you did not have an attempt to service from June 1st to June 12th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you attempted service twice, but it was 40 days later. And then you served me in the Squim Public Library, but how somebody... Then you served somebody else on August 27th. Mm -hmm. Now, just looking at this uh, traffic citation, non-traffic, yeah. Where, where's report 20151305A? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because just reading the mandatory appearance for those that um, mm -hmm. have uh, traffic citations, yes. Um, date of birth, right, Budnick, B-U-D-N-E-P-C-306-M-L, yeah. It expired on July 13, July 13th of 2014. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I was uh, residing in Port Angeles, yeah. Washington. Yeah. 98362. Mm -hmm. Why was it that Port Angeles never arrested me for failure to appear? Except when you transported me across county lines. Yes. When I'd emailed you on June 16th of 2000. Can you tell me what the Port Angeles Police Department's doing? Oh. Well, um, it says at location reference traffic way North Squim Avenue. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 400 block Squim Avenue. That's where the... is. Was that the residence or was that the actual place where I supposedly was 
on December 31st of 2015 because I know I did not email her at 7.47 a.m. So you can't say that that was what happened. How is it possible that Officer Corey Hall, yes, that I certify under the penalty of perjury, yes, under the laws of the state of Washington, that I have issued this on the date and at the location above, that I have probable cause, right, to believe the above-named person committed the above offenses, and I'm entering my authorized user ID and password to authenticate it. Hmm. Could you get me those user ID, IDs and passwords again for every person in law enforcement in this nation? Um, Officer Corey Hall, what would have made you think that I was in Squim, Washington at 7.47 a.m. on December 31st? Why did you think that? Now, um, it says here, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when you appear, yes, you will be advised of your constitutional rights, mm -hmm. possible penalties. If you're convicted, you also ask to enter a plea of not guilty or guilty. Yeah, I said I was not guilty. So the charging language, yes, mm -hmm. I just wanted to get a copy of the report of it right now. Uh, obviously, 7.47 a.m., yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I slept in the Serenity House. Right. I was on the bus that morning. Is there some stupid... Get me the password and ID mm -hmm. of every police officer in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Give me every password and ID of every sheriff in every county of the United States. I want to know every password and every ID. Because every time I tell you that I didn't commit a crime for 2,650 fucking days.